I think a great founder is optimistic and determined. So they're willing to kind of roll their sleeves up and, and solve problems in front of them. And then determined that they have a goal and they keep trying until they get there and don't give up along the way. I think that you have to have tenacity, resilience, and real passion for what you're building that's going to carry you through the ups and downs. Being able to be a visionary, lead from the front, um, and really communicate that mission to the employees at your business. They've been so supportive of our mission. So Christian joining our board, incredible healthcare investor, with the likes of Teladoc, Livongo, Babylon has been really helpful in terms of introductions and strategic uh, insights and excited for the future ahead with them. Incredible, so proactive, kind, interested, thoughtful, and true domain owners and domain expertise in wherever they're investing, which in our case is healthcare. The structural long-termism that's built into Shinovik, being an old company with a long horizon, makes it a company that can you know, look decades ahead instead of quarters ahead. It's what you would guess, but it is true, and you notice it in the emotion when you interact with the people there, who are all you know, lovely, competent people. Great to see their vision for Shinovik, also like their future and what they're investing in as well. Also love to hear a little bit about what they're looking for in the founders. It was fascinating to hear from James as a true long-term capital holder how to have perspective in a really turbulent time and I thought he did an incredible job of zooming out and thinking about how you drive true innovation and true returns to the market and I hope that other investors learn from him. I think James is a really smart guy. I think that his take on the way certain exponential trends unfolds over decades, I thought that was very insightful.